Hello guys, time for another unboxing. This time, the hot new release of uh, Hot Toys Iron Man Mark IV suit up gentry set. You can see it's the same layout as the die cast or Hot Toys die cast. Okay, the photo in the front, the, the gentry photo on the side, some information and the outline, another gentry. And since you include the gentry, it's twice the size of a normal one. This time, the Diecast Mark IV is very similar to recent release. Actually, it's the same as the Neon Tech uh, Iron Man uh, Toy Fair exclusive version. Well, it's a Diecast and you can see the metallic paint. However, to uh, follow the movie, it's a darker red than normal. So the articulation is the standard. Let's take a look at the artillery of the Iron Man Mark IV. On the shoulder, there is the, the mini missiles that you replace the regular piece with a magnetic piece. Okay, and there are also uh, four arms missiles. Basically, you just replace the four uh, the gauntlets pieces with missile pieces, and also there's a blue light uh, leaking from the entries to similar electronics it looks amazing also I did not uh, lift up the shoulder missiles for that part okay here you can see the magnetic piece the, for the other shoulder the four snap on pieces for the uh, four arm missiles so if you set them all up you're doing all fire position it's amazing Besides the armory snap on, there are also game mechs with the Iron Man as usual. So first off, you can see the chest piece can be removed to expose the uh, mechanical electronics. I think they copied it from the original plastic Mark IV, so the details are weak, weaker. Also in the back, there are two flaps. If I recall, they used to have metal uh, uh, pieces on that too. And then on the on the legs, there are two. <clears throat> to mechanical parts. Okay. And those are some blue licking lights. You can just snap this back on and you're ready to go. There you go. For the Die Cast Mark IV, they also make some changes on the body to improve the articulation. First off, they uh, added the uh, waist extender. Basically, you can just pull it up and increase the turn and then the degree of turn for the waist the, between the upper and the lower body and have uh, more articulation okay. and also uh, on, the first on the first version this is a plastic who turns pink eventually after exposed to sun. Nowadays they change it to a couple uh, hard pieces, a skirt that you can lift up to prevent you from scratching and increase your articulation. Furthermore, you can lower the hip socket. This will increase the range of the motion and help you do the superhero landing position. Like previous Mark IV, this one also comes with the head of Tony Stark, as in the movie Iron Man 2. 
So it's slightly dated, it's up to you to decide if it looks like our RDJ himself. You can replace it with the helmet hat. Okay, now on to the main attraction. It's the suit of gentry. Although this one reused the mold from the earliest version 1.0, they have applied different paint applications and added LED lights. For I don't have the version 1.0, I'm not sure if those have the lights too. So anyone, if you have that, leave a comment. It's also nice that you can see the the mechanical part is magnet holding up the chest piece you go okay this one recreate the scene from the movie where uh, Iron Man landed at the Star Expo and the gentry come up to remove suit again as Knight did not own the version 1.0 uh, but while I was assembling this, I was amazed by the details and the articulations of the various pieces. Well, as this is in plastic, so you have to be very careful when you handle it. But it's very amazing. You look at the lights. It really lightens up, lightens up the set, makes it look more beautiful. It's amazing. One of the selling points for the new Gentry set is the brand new paint application. As you can see, they have the caterpillar-like yellow mechanical paint, and there's a lot of rust effects all over the places. Looks amazing. And also, there's many articulation joints in this, so I would suggest you to hold on to the joint when you make the turn and make use the stretch, because Fundamentally, it's made of plastic. If you apply forces at the wrong location, you might break something. So, as there are many uh, small, delicate pieces in this set, many, many joints. It's not as steady as metal or the others, but it's amazing. You, there's just endless articulation in this. You, just by playing with this uh, gentry, you can play one full day. It's just that amazing. If you like this kind of toys and mechanicals, if you like playing with uh, uh, mechanical stuff, you will love this set. It's amazing. Again, the paint is also amazing. Very detailed, industrial type yellow with the rust effects in various places. Amazing. On to the last part, let's go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good part is that it's a die-cast Mark IV. If you don't have a Mark IV, or if you don't have a die-cast Mark IV before, this is the way to go. The suit of Sentry is very well-designed toy piece. Now the bad. Because the Sentry is very complicated, but it's only plastic, so there's a chance to break it. Also, it's not for everybody. If you own the previous version, you don't need this. Okay, that's it for today. Cheers. Bye.